ओम भूरभुव स्वत सवितोरवरेण्यम भर्गोदेवसदीमह दियो जो न प्रचोदयात ओम शांति 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 नमस्कार माय डियर फ्रेंड्स दिस इज वीडियो नंबर 13 ऑन द potentials of human mind this video starts with the subtle effects of the pituitary gland the external appearance or physique of the people varies from one geographical region to another because of the climatic changes however the anatomy physiology and internal chemistry of the body is the same in all human beings the chemistry of human body is so systematic and competent that it can maintain the healthy functioning of the body in natural atmosphere just with the help of the regular intakes of air water and food the harmonious functioning of the biochemical reactions within the body can easily defend its defend it against the attack of germs viruses and primary diseases it automatically maintains the health of the body in case of minor injuries pains and distress etc this perfect system is disturbed because of external imbalances caused by pollution uncontrolled diet artificial and stressful mode of living brain is considered to be the reservoir of conscious powers and the source of all intellectual faculties its neural network regulates all the physical biochemical and mental functions in the body according to the modern medical sciences the endocrine system appears to be the principal linkage for manifestation of the cosmic conscious energy in various brain regulated activities <coughs> Recent research has shown that the psychology of an individual has an intimate two-fold relationship with the hormone secretory functions of the endocrine glands. Adapt investigations in neurochemistry and psychology carried out in the past few decades have shown that the root cause of large number of diseases lies in the emotional complexities healthy development of mind and soothing conditions of thoughts and emotions upkeep the healthy functioning of the endocrine system and eventually a balanced secretion of neurotransmitters hormones supported happy and creative conditioning of the mind and healthy functioning of the body in view of the predominant role of the endocrine system the latter has been the focus of some important active and active areas of brain research the pituitary and pineal glands are said to be the conductor glands or the master glands as their secretions directly or indirectly affect the functioning of the other glands in the endocrine system the pituitary plays a fundamental role in the reproductive potentials of individuals the hormones and androgen and estrogen secreted from here give rise to the masculine and feminine characteristics respectively dr n shield shield medical research has shown that his gland is also prominent in protecting the health and orderly functioning of the body its regulatory mechanism weakens at the time of emotional perplexity or severe mental disturbance persistence of such stressful conditions often results in the occurrence of muscular spasm skin aberrations indigestion constipation cold colitis 
colitis, hypertension, cardiac disorders, etc. Any violation in emotional or mental peace perturbs the harmony of the brain functions, including the endocrine secretions, which in turn disturb the healthy functioning at the physiological, bioelectrical, and biochemical levels and results in the above kinds of diseases and disorders. It is said that the root of all diseases lie in the malice of one's thoughts and emotions, including the negative feeling and tendencies of jealousy, fury, fraudulence, unchaste hypocrisy, excessive ambitions, etc., are like slow poisons which weaken one's mental and physical strength day by day. The early trends of modern psychology and propagated amor amorous sentiments and fulfillment of concupiscence as an inductive force which is responsible for inspiring the development of cheerful, adventurous, brave and courageous character. It was also affirmed that the suppression of emotions and sensual desires might result in the abjection of personality into a coward, confused, apathetic, disgraceful, criminal, and sarcastic one. The psychologist like Freud also attributed improper development or complexities of one's character to the abnormalities in his sexual life. <clears throat> However, New principles of human psychology based on deeper understanding of the neural and mental sciences now convey that it is mainly the state of endocrine system which governs different functions at the physiological and psychological levels. The hormonal secretions of the pituitary gland are found to govern the sexual characteristics and activities of an individual. Impotency and fertility are not associated with so much with the genitals as with the secretions of specific hormones from this gland. The manifestation of masculine characters in a female and feminine signs in a male and eventual change in one's sex are found to be caused by transformation or disorder in the hormonal functions of this gland. Neurohormonal research has identified about nine principal hormones secreted by the pituitary gland. Mother's natural affection towards her child is also attributed to the effects of such hormones. Stability and decisiveness of mind is found to depend on the secretions of these hormones. The endocrinologist attributed the steady inactivation of the pituitary gland as the major cause of drastic transformation of Napoleon Bonaparte's personality. Physiologists describe two parts of this master gland augmentation of the alpha cells of the first part anterior pituitary is found to inspire many characteristics of courage and firmness a person having access of these cells will also have excellent power of self-restraint and self-discipline such an individual is usually endowed with impressive personality industriousness, self-confidence, and determination. Such people often become successful leaders. Glorious personality of Abraham Lincoln is a renowned example of the marvelous effects of the growth of alpha cells in the anterior part of the pituitary. Increase in the 
basophilic cells of the anterior pituitary give rise to feminine characteristics like emotional sensitivity and compassion. People having excess of these cells are generally short and have unstable nature. They show symptoms of psycho cyclothemia, fluctuating temperament, sometimes they are over-enthusiastic but soon become indifferent or too depressed without any apparent reason. Such persons are often inclined towards art, poetry and music. Frederick Chopin is reported as having these characteristics in the Encyclopedia of Esoteric Man, unique treatise on peculiarities of human character compiled by Benjamin Walker. Some hormones secreted from the frontal part of the pituitary gland govern the reactions of thyroxine which is the principal hormone secreted by the thyroid gland and which is essential for metabolic activities and processing of cardiac functions at a normal pace. A hormone called oxytocin is secreted from the back posterior side of the pituitary gland in the mothers of newborns. This hormone stimulates the production and secretion of milk from the mother's breast. Dr. Alt Shudai, an eminent biochemist at the Harvard University, observes that if there is any biochemical basis of bliss it must be through the pituitary and pineal glands it is at these sources where all the biochemical hormones are produced which induce the soothing feeling of cheerfulness and enthusiasm in normal cases complete development of sexual organs and Activation of erogenous sensation takes place during the age of 14 to 16 years. The desires and potentials of indulgence in sexual activity is usually diminished by the age of 60 years. Men lose the desire of carnal pleasure and their organs weaken for such activities by this age. Women reach this state even earlier around the age of 50 years after menopause. However, the perturbation of the normal activities of pituitary sometimes results in amazing abnormalities of both kinds. For instance, Dr. Guilin has mentioned of the case of a seven years old boy whose sexual development was equivalent to that of a normal young man. Hippocrates had also cited some abnormalities and attempted analyzing their causes ages <coughs> ago. The following examples reported during past 100 years or so add to the series. Charles Worth, born in England on 14th March 1829, had become a complete young man at the age of just four years. He also grew old fast and passed away at the age of seven. So Dan's nine-year-old mother was in news some years ago. Her husband too was a child of age 10 only when they got their first baby. On the 8th January 1910, an eight-year-old Chinese girl gave birth to a child. There lived another peculiar couple in the Calabar region of Africa where the custom of child marriages is still popular. The couple was blessed by a baby girl when the husband was 17 years old and the wife was only 8. Surprisingly, the daughter too got married in the childhood and became a mother at the age of 9 years. 
other extremity of sex related abnormalities are manifested in people possessing concupiscence and reproductive abilities like those of bayous jora aga after ki was 153 old in 1927 when he married his 11th wife before that he had witnessed the death of his 10th wife and 27 children he had over 70 children from his 11 wives jahan milki of agastar mezi survived a healthy life of 124 years few years before his death jahan's gray hair had begun to turn black he was married last at the age of 80 to a young woman of 18 years he had 10 children from this wife all of whom were healthy and lived longer than an average inhabitant in that area hormonal secretions in women are found to be very compatible and con- conspicuous to provide extra energy and strength during and after the menstrual cycles pregnancy and delivery their hormones seem to be more supportive in increasing their resistance and vitality as compared to the men this is the reason why despite working for the entire day every day all our life a woman on an average lives longer than men according to a census of china about 80% of age 100 years or more were living in the domi region on the banks of yangtze yang yangtze several years ago of this 69 were women were women and 17 men 78 of these long lived people had been residing in small villages and only 8 had spent most of their life in densely populated towns the oldest in this group was a 116 years old lady who was still living independently in her own cottage in a farm at the outskirts of the village <coughs> the relation of hormones with the longevity longevity is another major topics of active research concerning the pituitary and other endocrine glands experiments are also on to counter the hormonal deficiencies by injecting the corresponding hormones from certain animals into the patient's blood however biocompatibility and non sustainability of the positive effects if any has been the major bottleneck in their success similar problems are sometimes faced with the use of tranquilizers and other medicines the negative reaction of a drug and chemical occur because occurs because of their recognition as foreign and incompatible bodies during the scrutiny by the neuroreceptors neuroreceptors the neuroreceptors neurotransmitters and hormones play the principal role in regulating the biochemical information processing within the body recent investigations of these include experiments on the synaptic connectivity and activity of the neurons by electrochemical stimulants to influence the auto understand auto regulatory activation at biochemical levels however thorough understanding of the endocrine system and possibilities of controlling hormonal secretions and functions are still far from the reach of current developments discoveries of different hormones and 
Deciphration of the structure and chemical functions of the hormones and neurochemicals like encephalines and endo endorphins are remarkable achievements of brain research. These findings would contribute to the fields of research on healthy development of brain and to the medical treatment of neurological and psychological disorders. More significantly, advancement of research has helped understanding the internal structure of brain and the chemistry of endocrine system and it has shown that the complexities of neurochemical and endocrine reactions have connections with the subtle aspects of personality. It has become clear that as far as the transformation of one's mentality, nature, emotional character, intrinsic values, etc. is concerned, nothing viable could be achieved by the external treatments, by those electrical impulses or medicines because it is the mental and emotional state of an individual which is <coughs> dominant in affecting the normal functions of the endocrine system and hence of the neuronal network. In view of the subtle effects, many researchers have now focused their studies on applications of meditation, dhyana, contemplation, manana and other spiritual yoga sadhana to improve the health of body and mind. These practices are expected to help refine the inner potentials of one's consciousness so that the neurohormonal secretions would be naturally maintained in harmonious order. I conclude this video here. Namaskar my dear friends. Next video number 13 will start with the topic growth hormones and change of sex. Thank you. Namaskar.